What's new in Axosoft version 17.1? In previous versions of Axosoft, the burndown chart would only update if Axosoft users log a work log. In version 17.1, the burndown chart has been updated, allowing for any change to the remaining estimate field to update the burndown chart. This means that you can use a workflow step action to automatically update the remaining estimate value to zero and then have that update reflected in your burndown chart. The release planner has also been updated and now supports other time units. Each user can set their capacity in terms of other time units like minutes, days, or story points. The release planner will also honor the time unit set from the more menu of your toolbar. When you add a new item, Axosoft will preemptively search for any existing items with the same or similar name. If any items match your search, you can click on the item to review the existing item. You can use this feature to find out if someone already wrote up the item that you were just about to create. You can now name your email accounts. So go to Tools, Other Settings, Email Accounts, and set the Account Name field. This makes identifying accounts much easier if you have multiple email account connections. Any updates to attachments, comments, or emails will now update an item's last modified date. Use this to trigger notifications based off of any updates to these three new parameters, or keep this in mind if you're sorting by last modified date in your grid view. Portal users may now sort by rank. The new permission is available from Tools Customer Portal, Portal Security Roles, and portal users with this permission can then access the gear in the upper right corner and then sort by rank. Item exports to .csv files can now include the parent ID for any sub-items in the export. Use this to identify what items were sub-items and to which parent. A few more things. When you have a grouping in Axosoft, click on any group header to expand or collapse all groups. Another thing, you can now set the order of your details panel panes so you can move up or down. And for those of you who are familiar with our developer API, related item IDs are now available through the API. That about covers what's new in Axosoft version 17.1. For more information, do check out the link to our blog post in the description below, and we'll see you in the next release.